All right, so I thought I'd do a real quick video on this P0011 code. That's for camshaft position timing over advanced on bank one. Basically what that means is your camshaft is ahead of where the ECM wants it to be. It's too far advanced. And that usually shows up on engines with VVT, variable valve timing. Now bank one just means the side of the engine where cylinder one is. On a four cylinder, you only got one bank, but on V6 or V8 engines, you'll have bank one and bank two. So let's start with the most common cause, and that's the oil. If your oil is low, dirty, or wrong weight, it can mess with the VVT system. The cam phasers and solenoids rely on clean oil pressure to move things around. So first thing I do is check the oil level and condition. If it's dark, sludgy, or old, do an oil change and make sure you're using the correct viscosity for your engine. Next thing you wanna check is the VVT solenoid. That's the part that controls oil flow to the cam phases. If that solenoid is sticking or clogged, the camshaft timing can get stuck too far advanced. A lot of times you can pull the solenoid out and clean it with some brake cleaner. If that don't fix it, it might just be time to replace it. They're usually not that expensive and not too bad to get to. Also make sure to check the electrical connection to the solenoid. If the plug is loose or corroded, that will mess with how it works too. Another thing that can cause this code is the camshaft position sensor. If it's sending bad info, the ECM gets confused and thinks the timing's off. Same with the crankshaft sensor. So if the solenoid and oil check out, but the code's still there, those sensors are worth a look. Now in more rare cases, this can be caused by timing chain stretch or timing issues. If you're hearing rattling from the timing cover or if the car's got high mileage, the chain might have stretched and thrown off your cam timing. That's more of a teardown job, but it's something to keep in mind if all the easy stuff checks out. Also, very rare, but a failing ECM can sometimes trigger this too. But honestly, nine out of 10 times, it's gonna be oil, the VVT solenoid or a sensor issue. So yeah, check the oil, check the solenoid, maybe look at the cam sensor if needed and go from there. Clear the code and drive it. If it stays off, you're good. That's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.